Hey, you. Yeah, you. I got a secret to tell you. White people aren't natural. Yup, they've been fabricated and artificially synthesized. Black people are the true, uh, people of God, uh, y you know, they are the people of the imaginary friend we all believe in. Alright, I'll shut the fuck up. I don't want to spoil the video for you guys. I'm getting straight to the point. This video is to dispel those who keep trying to come to me and tell me about this evolution theory. Oh my god, this is gonna be good. Now before I get into this about, oh, white people was here for 40,000 years and the Ice Age is just what made black people lose their melanin and rah, 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 rah. No. No. Negative. As a gray stick figure, I am highly offended. Do your research. Did you not just hear me tell you that the ancient, the Australia ancient, ancient research center, no, the Australian research center for ancient DNA has confirmed that the white gene is no more than 6,500 years old? Go look this up. So how can there be an evolution theory of white people who was here during the Ice Age and all of that and they wasn't even here during the Ice Age, fool? 6,500 years old? That is extremely recent, you know, and I'm gonna have to disagree, although you do have some truth in what you said. Allow me to explain. First of all, the light-colored skin didn't evolve immediately. Obviously, it would have taken a long time before it spread out across an entire population. Somewhere between 40,000 to 100,000 years ago, we began to lose our skin pigmentation. This was due to a number of reasons. One of the more accepted hypotheses states that certain populations of our species began to migrate to areas of higher altitude where there was lower sunlight. Alright, let me start from the beginning. Dark skin is only an advantage in areas penetrated by high amounts of sunlight due to its ability to protect the organism from ultraviolet radiation. It evolved about 1.5 million years ago along with the loss of hair and bipedalism in order to forage and travel without suffering from heat damage. What this means is that we never really started with dark skin. Dark skin was a product of natural selection. Then at about 40,000 to 100,000 years ago, the amount of melanin in our ancestors began to decline. This number can vary because we didn't evolve light skin all at once. It was an extremely gradual process and even had multiple different pathways. As I mentioned earlier, this was possibly due to migration to higher altitudes where sunlight is not as abundant. As a result, the pressure of natural selection allowed lighter skin to thrive. In a place with less sunlight, there was less of a need for darker skin to protect the organism. In addition, darker skin produces less vitamin D from sunlight compared to lighter skin. So for areas where sunlight is less intense, lighter colored skin thrive due to its ability to produce vitamin D in a more efficient manner. So to answer your statement, 6,500 years ago can be a bit misleading. We did find evidence of loss of pigmentation a few thousand years ago, yes, but that doesn't mean the process began during that time. It began much earlier and never really truly completed its progress. Alright, now that I finally finished explaining that, let's move on to the video. Now with that being said, second of all, Everything in the universe that is natural has melanin. The way you can detect what is natural from what is unnatural is does it possess melanin? Oh no, oh no, oh no. I have a really bad feeling about this. For example, black people have melanin. The universe is all that black dark matter out there is melanin. Plants have melanin. Water is clear and it even has melanin. <laughs> what? Water with melanin, please. And dark matter? Did you just say that dark matter has melanin? Apples have melanin. Fruits and vegetables have melanin. The animals have melanin. Black panther, um, the, the panther is black because his coat of, his coat and his hair is melanated. What? What does this prove? Everything I just named is a natural part of the universe and it, and it stems naturally. It was created by whatever you want to call it. God or whatever you want to call it is natural. Um, no, that doesn't mean it's natural. Melanin is only a pigment that is produced by cells, therefore it's not in non-living objects. This is a horrible way to tell if something is quote-unquote natural. What the fuck, man? In addition, how do you even define natural? It's just so unclear. God damn, dude. Hmm. Kool-Aid don't got no damn melanin. Hmm. Dr. Pepper ain't got no damn melanin. Hmm. Um, suckers and candy ain't got no melanin. What the fuck? I mean, yeah, I guess they don't have melanin, but neither do half the things you listed earlier. Hmm, white people barely ain't got no melanin. Well, goddamn. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Wasn't none of these things naturally created. Don't none of these things grow on trees. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> You're saying that black people grow on trees. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Damn. Well, I can't find Pepsi and Doc. I can't. It ain't no such thing as a lake of Dr. Pepper. You ever seen a Dr. Pepper waterfall or a damn um a Coca-Cola River? Hell no. I never seen a um a, a, a homeland of white people. White people have no homeland. They have colonized and spread across the world, but they have no continent. And Europe is not their continent. It's a continent they were pushed from. How are you defining homeland here? Since you said that colonization doesn't count as marking a territory as your homeland, then in literal terms, black people don't have a homeland either. Our ancestors migrated to Europe a long time ago. It doesn't belong to you either. And plus, why does it matter if anyone has a homeland? You're completely deviating from your main argument here. Oh, I see. Your original argument didn't make any sense, so you move to another argument that makes less sense. Makes sense. So where do white people come from? Hmm, where does candy come from? People genetically, I mean, people manufacture it. You manufacture shit that's artificial. So you're saying that white people are manufactured. Fantastic. I have no idea what kind of shit you were exposed to as a kid, but that claim is just, uh, offensive? I actually don't know how anyone could possibly be offended by this guy. If I were white, I would just laugh it off like I'm doing now. I'm not white, by the way. I'm gray. Can't you tell from my stick figure? Fucking racist. It's not real. Ah, so white people aren't real, huh? All those white people I've been seeing on the streets, yeah, those are just my imagination. Yeah, mmm, you got something there. You trying to say that white people, um... White people, y'all trying to say, and black people, y'all trying to say the evolution theory, right? So, okay, let's just say that is true. So, the temperature got so cold that the body no longer needed its melanin, so the person's skin pigmentation became uh, lighter. It could have been a number of factors, the main one most likely being the migration to areas of lower sunlight exposure. Now, there was indeed a quick transition to lighter skin during the glacial period that happened in Europe, which could have contributed to lower sunlight intensity. Listen how dumb you sound. You got Eskimos up there living in, a, in, in Alaska in um, other cold regions of the world, and they're still my skin color. And they've been, they have tribe lineage and bloodlines that go back thousands of years. So that can't be true. Well, Eskimos only migrated to the northern regions a few thousand years ago, which is quite recent. This could be enough time to lose pigmentation, but they haven't. So we do have a few explanations for this. First of all, I must point out that their skin color isn't that dark. It isn't as dark as yours, so we can conclude that they did lose some pigmentation, but not all of it. Even though the areas they live have a lack of sunlight during significant portions of the year, during the times that they do have sunlight, the ice strongly reflects it in all directions. Overall, this can increase the exposure one has to sunlight. So Eskimos did need to keep some pigmentation as protection. In other words, the selective pressure isn't as great for them, so they didn't need to become fully white. I can see what you're trying to say, and it's a good attempt, but you're not disproving evolution this way. Sunlight exposure variation will cause skin color to change, and this is a result of natural selection. Oh yeah, evolution, baby. And for one, then for two, it can't be true because that which is natural can never be changed unless something unnatural takes place. So you're trying to say that white people aren't natural and have been influenced by some unnatural alteration? So please tell me then, who was the one that did this? Was it God? No, it couldn't be God because that would make it natural. Was it uh, other humans? Are you trying to say that black people made other black people become white? What do I mean by that? You have roses and flowers that grow in the wintertime. And they remain and keep their same pigmentation that they have in the summertime. Trees are outside in the wintertime and they still brown like they was in the summertime. So you telling me black people is, 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 is um, black in the summer and then we get white in the winter? No, we're not saying that. Evolution is a long process. It takes a while before you can see any real changes such as skin color. Not to mention, it has to have gone through many, many generations. You don't see natural selection happening for one individual. Man, what the fuck am I watching? If that's the case, everybody in America will have the same color, and we all would change like chameleons during the season, and we all would just adapt and look and mirror each other in skin complexion. So stop being stupid. Right back at ya, buddy. 
If you possess a certain amount of melanin, when the photons hit you from the sun or the rays of light hit your flesh, it activates your melanin and it vibrates you and your body becomes more powerful. And the like I said, the darker you are, the stronger your genes. When your melanin is resonating, you begin to come darker. And when a black person gets darker in the summertime, it just means that their melanin is activated and that that, that is a sign that you potentially have access to your psychic and kinetic abilities. You are at your full strength. Yo, I am so done with this guy. What the actual fuck? You can activate your melanin and that gives you special powers? <laughs> I, uh, I didn't know stupidity was a special power. For a, a person, white is the lowest. And then you got yellow, which is up above that. And then you got brown, which is the next step, which is me. Then you got black, which is the highest. So where does gray fall into this? I, uh, I just want to know where I rank. You know what I mean? Y'all trying to say that uh, black people lost their skin pigmentation due to the um, ice age, right? Or whatever y'all trying to say. Watch this. The body is made up of 85% hydrogen. Hydrogen is water. Okay. Lakes, rivers, the oceans freeze. Whenever the winter time comes, it freeze, right? And that's pure. That's H2O. Um, excluding the chemicals and stuff y'all Caucasians might have dumped in there. That's H2O, right? So when it freezes for this certain amount of time... And then spring and summer comes back and it thaws out. Guess what it still is? H2O! Water does make up a large proportion of our body, but that doesn't mean it determines our genetics or our appearance. There are plenty of other things that do that. Melanin controls our skin color, not water. You probably don't know this, but our body is operated by cells. And guess where melanin is secreted from? Melanocytes. Melanocytes are cells. Cells need water to function, but that doesn't mean that water determines its properties. I suggest you to pick up a biology book and read about the basics of biology. Man, I thought this couldn't get worse than flat earthers, but I was clearly wrong. Like I said, evolution theory is a lie. That which is natural cannot be changed unless something unnatural takes place. You know, sometimes I don't even know how people get all this bullshit. Like, for the Earth being 6,000 years old, I can see where that came from. The Earth being flat, I can see where that came from. But something like this? Man, I have no idea. The internet is a strange place. A flower will always be a flower unless you come make it something else. A tree will always be a tree unless you come make it something else. An apple will always be an apple unless you come make it something else. The black person always was black until Yakub came and made him some, made the black man and black woman something else, being a white person. I think we've had enough, wouldn't you say? I'm going to go take a walk outside. Ah. <sighs> wait, wait, what? What's happening? What the fuck? Thank <laughs> you.